Hi guys, some materials is still required for dioramas that we have started in previous video. So today we try some other things, some sort of British power. All my TFV 405, stage 2 in 1 to 35 scale, in this beautiful box from AVV Club, plastic kit as usual, but with some amount of movable parts that provided by AVV. This kit is a little bit kinda rare, so the easier solution was to find similar kit from RVM. Okay, let's build this guy. I prepared some initial details. In this episode we will concentrate our efforts on big turret with this powerful gun. This self-propelled gun was built in real and one piece is still exist in uh, British museums. Remove frame from this big turret and also remove excess of plastic on it. Now additional constructional elements, uh, quality of this kit is high, we can see here even welding seams, details take their places precisely. We have a front armored plate, but, it, but at first we need to install turret machine gun, and yes, surprisingly, this enormous SPG has 1MG in turret. One of the features of this kit is partially metallic barrel with rifling and that great news and not the great news that other part of this barrel is still plastic part that uh, consists from two parts and it should be glued together. I pulled it with a modeling tape and then applied liquid extra thin glue on that uh, connection points. After the removal of uh, masking tape, I add some additional glue on that points. Connection of barrel parts good, but I think we add here some putty anyway. This barrel has uh, vertical movement, for that we have to insert barrel inside such a cylinder and provide inbox vinyl rings uh, to this system. Movement is tight, but when all construction would be finished, uh, that heavy weight of this barrel provides smooth uh, steering. When basement for barrel assembled, we can uh, move forward. Unfortunately, there were only plastic non-transparent triplexes for turrets, uh, but for the hull they are transparent. Then we can install hatches for turret uh, crew. We close them because there is no any interior inside this turret. By the way, main difference between stage 2 and stage 1 modifications is uh, turret itself. Stage 2 has such a big turret with thin armor. In first stage there wasn't any protection, uh, only opened gun on Centurion tank hull and chases. We have one more big panel, here it is, and some minor details on the top of this turret, uh, among them antenna pots. By the way, there is no guidance in instruction about these details, but anyway, it's not a difficult task to find correct details in that box and install them on proper places. But what interesting is that uh, we have such a big hatch and we can assemble it in a workable condition, I guess. Bottom parts of the turret, great connection is typical for AVV Club models. One more feature, plastic panels uh, seen, it's good for armor sickness imitation. Real thickness of this turret was kind of 15 mm and provide uh, only bullet and frag protection. But from other side, seen plastic more fragile in work, so cross checks the final geometry of such uh, details. And yep, the size of this turret is enormous. It close to sizing of some light tanks or tank kits. Okay, let's go next. I decided to explore the situation with the hull and it actually Centurion tank and the same 
details, same stuff you can find in Centurion series from AFV Club with some differences. Uh, depends on different modifications. But it's good plastic, uh, lower part of the hull cast it in one big piece, which is quite convenient. All other parts can be easily adjusted uh, to that big section. So we have here front upper armor plate from Centurion tank. Section with the hatch for driver, it is also has some angle. And main upper part, we can call it under turret section. So we can just simply install them on their places and then apply liquid glue on the connection points. Okay, but let's finish turret at first. That annoying small gaps on plastic part of the barrel, we deployed here Tamiya Spati. It is convenient to apply it with the two speaks. Yep, there is also an option to protect near surfaces with a masking tape. The same procedure. Important to be provided for inner side of big door of the turret. To keep putty's consistency in workable condition, I mixed their small amount of that liquid glue. One small upgrade, which I decided to implement in this kit, is opening of this big hatch. Yep, that's a little bit uh, weird idea, because I told you earlier that, is, that there is no interior inside this turret. But uh, why not, we just can do that. For that purpose we need to drill a hole in the hinges with the help of extra small drill. As access for Z hinges we can use small metallic wire parts or pieces of plastic sprue, but metallic solution would be much better. So I assembled all uh, door parts together, prepared to celebrate this greatest success, no, and discovered this. Hmm, yes, now we need to disassemble that platform and short it a little bit from the stride side. Okay, what about barrel? I sanded all that party, but maybe primer will reveal some additional gaps. If we find them, we repeat procedure with the party over here. Now we can install barrel or just uh, paint it separately with a turret and glue in the end. I don't know. And yes, what about big uh, hatch from the rear side? And yes, it's workable, now there is everything fine with this hatch. And here our completed turret, and it's impressive by its size. It's like a main caliber of destroyer class ship. The caliber itself 183mm. It's a very impressive gun, which main objective was to fight against Soviet slope armor and with the help of hash projectiles, but it's just a model and next time we continue work on it, uh, we have to assemble Centurion's tank hull, or we just try to finish our diorama from previous episode, highly recommend that video, uh, if I achieve uh, some spare parts that I needed for that uh, video. By the way, what do you think about a fictional yellow desert camo for this SPG, whether it would be good or not? And thank you for watching, have a nice day and goodbye!